All right, on today's Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla, we're doing some RC testing. It's the TSRC drone that we picked up. And the first thing we have to do is download the app off of the Play Store. So we're going to do that right now. It says it has a 2.9 rating. Uh, looks like most of the reviews couldn't get the app to work. I don't think we're going to have that problem. So we're going to go ahead and download this and install it onto our phone and then once we get it installed we'll open it up and uh, I'll show you what the app looks like how to connect the drone and uh, we'll go through all the the features on the app and we'll talk a little bit about what the app offers and uh, what it looks like once the drone is connected so we're going to take these through the steps of the uh, instruction manual that's provided and the first step is to download the app now they do give you a qr code or a website i just use the qr code on the box um, there's an instructional video which is also on this app um, and this is what the app looks like once it's opened and downloaded it says tsrc and uh, we're going to get this opened right now, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, the drone, we're inside with the drone. Here it is. We're going to get this thing connected. I've downloaded the app already. I showed you that. And uh, I'm going to go back to showing you what the screen looks like uh, with the um, app running. And then we'll switch over to what the drone looks like uh, after it gets on and starts going. So uh let's get this thing connected there's a few steps we have to take um we're gonna do those first all right so it should be propeller b and a if it's facing you and b and a so this says a a b b so those are good different operating modes the default mode and uh, everything's backwards mode. Tells you how to use the camera, how to do the app, how to do a geomagnetic calibration. First we have to, we skip a step. First we have to connect to the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna turn this on on the back side, right here on this power button. Long press it. Until it turns green. All right, now it's on. Now we have to find the Wi-Fi on our phone. It should say TSRC. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go up to your Wi-Fi settings, turn it on, search for uh, available Wi-Fi networks. Look for the TSC Wi-Fi network. It's not going to have any internet connection, but it is going to connect your phone to the drone. It has its own Wi-Fi connection, so that's how you connect. Then you're going to want to go and open the app. All right, once you open the app, uh, you're going to see video. If it connected correctly to the drone, you're going to see video on this TSC app. Once you open, pick the model number up in the upper right corner. There's that little box there. That'll scroll down and say A6 is the one model that we have. And then you're going to want to um, click the control button. Now, once you open the controls, you should see a video. The well, next thing we need to do is the geomagnetic calibration. It says to push the uh, north, south, east, west sign. Uh... When the aircraft indicator light flashes red, you can proceed to step two. Then we have to uh, rotate it horizontally, flat, in a complete circle. See here where the circle is? So you're going to turn the whole drone this way. And then we're going to turn the whole drone this way. I can't film this because I'll be on the thing. But that's how we're going to do it. And then we've got to unlock it by hitting both of the control pads down to the right so we're gonna do all that once we get this connected uh, we will be on the uh, 
we're going to shut the GPS mode off. It says you can shut the GPS mode off for outdoor open places where there's no signal interference. Optical flow is flying indoors. And to do that, uh, press the GPS button on the remote control for three seconds. That's what we're going to do because we're indoors. All right, real quick before we connect this drone, um, I want to show you some of the features that this app uh, offers. Now, this was normally where you're going to see the video that the drone's taking will be on this entire screen. And you'll push that button to take video. The upper button's your photo and video. Right there's your uh, audio button, and it'll record. This is uh, Google Maps. It pinpoints your directions. Um, your audio and your GPS is all kept on this app. It's not done from... That's your return to home, and this is your takeoff waypoint. Now, if you go up to settings, you can adjust... Uh, um, some of the novice this is set in default novice mode right from the beginning you can see there that the Google Maps comes up basically pinpoints your location here you've got uh, where you can take your image follow your GPS follow you can switch to VR mode and and fly this with a VR um, lens angle 2 to 120 degrees you can make it do a circle uh, take a photo, do a, a route, zoom in, or reverse. There's also gesture mode where you can set it up to take a picture every time you give it a peace sign or something. And there's also a face follow, so you can click it on somebody's face and it'll stay on that face the whole time. So let's get this thing uh, connected. And this is what it looks like once it's connected. You can see me there. I lifted that up. It's not actually flying. We'll switch over to the actual footage when we are flying. But here I am. It takes a pretty good photo, you can see, or video. And this is live right now and what I'm seeing on my phone. It says there's no SD card, but that's okay. It's storing the video to my phone, and we're going to check that out right now. Now, I do not have any audio. I didn't click the audio button. I had a couple issues with connections and stuff, but I finally did get everything connected, as you can see. And this is the maiden flight. So you're not going to get any audio. We don't know what the audio sounds like. You'll have to wait until later. But it's in the air. Look at that. And it takes a good photo. Uh, great picture. Looks nice. It's not real bright in here. So it's going to do the job. Hopefully you like this. We'll see you next time guys well i hope you like that drone uh review you can see we connected it to the app i hope that helps you if you have any more questions just leave them in the comments i'll give you um the, the best answer that i can um but it seems like it has a good video uh it seems like we've overcome the problems that other people have had with it connecting and working so we're going to get this outside we'll have some more reviews for this um it's been really nasty out so i haven't been able to do that but it is coming up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Well, we truly hope you enjoyed that. We want to thank everyone who watches our videos, hits that like button, and leaves us a comment. We want to give a special thanks to our Patreon supporters because that extra help goes a long way. Their links are in our description. See you guys next time.